Hello friends, welcome back to another video on building multi-purpose Laravel MP3 application and in this video we will be working on showing validation message over here when someone enter invalid credentials. So in the previous video we worked on adding user authentication system but we were not adding the validation message. So first of all let me show you how it gonna look. So if I click on sign in with invalid credentials then we see this alert message right and also i am adding the loading indicator on this button for better user experience so to test it let me go to network tab and select fast 3g let me click on sign in now we see this loading indicator as well right which is beautiful so throughout this video we'll be adding this validation message as well as this loading indicator okay so now let's get started okay let me open up the code editor and let me go to login.view file so here while submitting the form, we need to add another block for cache and we'll be catching the error and inside this, let's say alert here. Now if I click on sign it with invalid credentials, then we are getting this message, right? Which is perfect. So instead of swing alert, we'll be swing the alert message over here using Bootstrap alert. So let's use this. Let me copy this code and after this let me add that and we see this right now this should be dynamic so let's work on that part first of all let me create one state for error message const error message and by default let's make this as empty string and we need to import ref from view and on this cache block we can do error message dot value we can assign the value to error dot response dot data dot message now we can set if we have error message then we will be showing this block okay so here let's add the conditional if we have the error message then we'll display that error message over here right now let me refresh it now let me click on sign in then we are getting that message and it is saying this credentials do not match our records right which is perfect now finally let's add the loading indicator as well for better user experience so for that let me go to bootstrap and source for spinner and then let me copy this and let's go to sign in button over here inside this button let's add this div and let's wrap this inside of the span tag and let me go over here and we see this big loading spinner but let's make this small using the class spinner border small sm and this is fine now we'll be swing that spinner if we are on the loading stage so if it is loading then we'll be swing this spinner otherwise we'll so sign in okay and we need to define this state so let me go over here and let's define that on loading and by default let's make this as false and while submitting the form let's set the loading state as true and on the finally block let's set the loading as false also while submitting the form let's clear the error message as well so error message dot value equals empty string now let's try this let me open up the console and on network tab make sure you select fast 3g so that we can see this loading and we see that loading indicator as well and also let's make this button is disabled so that user will not click multiple time so for that let me go to sign in and over here 
let's make this as disabled if it is loading let me try this and this is disabled as well but if we enter the valid credentials then it will redirect us to dashboard so let me click on sign in and we are redirected to dashboard which is perfect so this much for this video i hope you learned something from this video so don't forget to like share and subscribe to this channel as i will be uploading the videos like this so till then have a great time and i will see you on the next time soon